examined in an axial cross-section. A key characteristic of this technique is the invagination of small bowel tissue, which envelops the duct to mucosa anastomosis in the center. As a sagittal cross-section reveals, transpancreatic sutures are used for the outer layer anastomosis. This disperses the tension and shear forces along the thickness of the pancreas, securing the anastomosis and preventing pancreatic leaks due to tissue tearing. As the section of jejunum is brought in proximity to the pancreas remnant, the jejunum is positioned such that the posterior side is facing the cut surface of the pancreas. A double-armed suture is run through the pancreas parenchyma, the seromuscular layer of the jejunum, and then back through the pancreas parenchyma. Similar transpancreatic sutures are placed along the pancreas remnant, carefully avoiding the pancreatic duct opening. An enterotomy is created, and the duct to mucosa anastomosis is completed. The previous double armed transpancreatic sutures are then used to make a double mattress stitch on the anterior side of the jejunum. The jejunum is rolled over the pancreas remnant which creates an invagination of the jejunum over the duct to mucosa anastomosis. Similar double mattress stitches are placed with the previous sutures, completing the Blumgart-style pancreatico-jejunostomy.